Welcome back to the Coach's Corner. John Stanko of ICGills.com with Melissa Inouye, head coach of the Anna softball team. Coach, you had a busy MAC weekend against two of the best teams in the conference in Monmouth and Marist. You guys went 2-2 two and two overall. Your overall impressions from the big games? We knew when we got the MAC schedule it was going to be a tough weekend with um, obviously Monmouth. Um, the last few years they've played in the championship game and Marist has obviously won the last few years as well. We knew it was going to be a tough weekend, so at the bare minimum, we were hoping for a split on both days, and, and thankfully we were able to pull that off against two quality opponents. Do you take pride in giving Monmouth their first and thus far only MAC loss this season? Yeah, I think so. I, I, you know, Monmouth obviously has a very good pitcher in Amanda Riley, good offense, um, as, they have, as they have had in the last few years. So if anything, if the girls were motivated to um, compete that day and play hard, and I think if anything, when Amanda Riley came back into the game, um, it was kind of a chance to, you know, kind of put the dagger in, if you will, and um, happy that um, Tori Danner had a big two out to RBI to pull us ahead 4-3, and then Natalia Murray kind of, like I said, put the dagger in, getting that two RBI single to get us a little bit more insurance runs for Lonnie Evans. Yeah, Natalia Murray had a few games on the bench to kind of regather herself, and now you've inserted her back into that starting lineup at shortstop. What do you think those maybe that week off or so did for her confidence then getting back there on the field? I think just kind of taking a little pressure off of her as well as just kind of um, letting her sit back and observe the game a little bit and kind of see where like she can get better at and, and you know she went back to work and looked at some video regarding her hitting and I think if anything uh, you know typical freshman has got to find herself got to find some confidence and uh, and she in the last few games has been able to swing a better bat and especially in the leadoff spot for us. Now on Sunday the doubleheader against Maris you guys lost the first game and then the second game got extended just a little bit went 11 innings but you guys won in walk off fashion 2-1. to one. What was your gut feeling sending Tori Danner around third base to score that tying run when she finally crossed the plate? Well, in that situation, you know, that pitcher for Maris hadn't given up a hit yet at all. She had, you know, defense made some really good plays um, behind her, especially the shortstop. Um, had a whole uh, a five six hole play and up the middle play that definitely um, helped get them out of the innings. And she had the only walk she, she had was a leadoff walk in the bottom of the eleventh to Tori Danner, and a great at bat by Tori. And I think it's kind of fitting that Courtney Miller is right behind her as a senior, putting that sack butt down, and um, Sierra DiGiulio extended the inning by getting on with a throwing error, and, and uh, you know, Kimmy Chaparelli up to bat, and she kind of botched the play earlier, so I, when I took a timeout, I, I literally told the kid, I said, um, I'm gonna let you swing here, because I believe in you that much, and my hope is that you believe in yourself that much, and sure enough, she had that game winning hit up the middle, so it's kind of funny how the game pays you back in certain situations, but in that situation with Tori winning around in second base, anything to the outfield, I'm going to score. I'm going to make them make that pressure play at the plate, and thankfully Tori motored around just enough to get by. And very fitting that his senior would score the winning yes. run on senior day as well. Look, maybe an unsung hero, or maybe not so unsung to those who watched the game, was rookie Samantha Bender. She came in relief with runners on base, relieved Alana Evans, who started the game, escaped that dangerous inning, then pitched seven shutout innings into extra innings. That Was that her best performance of the year thus far? Um, by far, um, I mentioned in a, in a coach's interview a week or so ago that kid's mental toughness, you know, as a freshman is pretty um, um, imp uh, impressive. She, her demeanor and her presence didn't change at all every inning when I went out there to give her the ball in between innings. And if anything, I think she thought it was a really fun environment to be in. And, and uh, she held her own and did really well against a potent offense. And and pitched herself out of some jams and had a lot of quality pitches when she needed to. So great performance by her and to come into a tight spot. And I thought it was very fitting for her to get her first college win in that fashion. Yeah, very dramatic fashion. And you touched on other freshmen, Natalia Murray picking up the bat. Someone else to pick up the bat this weekend was Junior Marissa Gurgle. Raised her batting average 12 points. Seemed to find her hitting stroke in the batter's box this weekend against two very good teams. What did you see from her in the plate that allowed for more success this past weekend? We kind of put her back in the two hole, which I think she's more comfortable in the two hole as she has hit there consistently in her freshman and sophomore year. If anything, I think her timing this past weekend was a little bit better, which can help when you're facing faster pitching. Um, but, uh, you know, Marissa has good hand eye coordination, and I was glad to see her kind of pick up her um, and get better hits and better quality at bats this past weekend. Now you have two final non-conference games tomorrow, Wednesday, against Wagner. It's also International Denim Day where you're raising awareness for sexual violence uh, in conjunction with Iona College. Just talk about how this day came about and how you guys came about sponsoring this National Denim Day for your game. So myself and a couple other athletic administrators serve on the sexual assault um, task force uh, led by Katie Steiner with the whole NCAA um, initiative you know, to prevent sexual violence. And uh, uh, Brielle from the Counseling Center here on campus mentioned that it's a National Denim Day and, and uh, we're actually, I think, getting a bunch of pins and stuff mm -hmm. like that regarding that it's just stop in the locker room. And um, so it's glad that I think we're one of the few home games going on um, tomorrow on campus. So it was a great way to kind of hopefully encourage people to come out to the game, 
weather bearing, of course, um, but nice way to kind of bring some awareness to campus as well as to a great cause. Now, after Wednesday's game, you have six final MAC games, all of them on the road beginning this upcoming weekend against Manhattan. What's the biggest thing as you get down this final two weeks of the regular season before postseason play that you want to see your team work upon before entering the championship season? Well, at this point of the year, you're not trying to change too much. You're trying to keep them in routine. You're trying to keep the body as fresh as possible, trying to keep the confidence. If anything, I'd like offensively us to be a little bit more consistently, um, one through nine, and, and continuing to have good at-bats and good at-bats and taking advantage of our opportunities. So uh, looking forward to playing on the road. Obviously, got a tough um, stretch down the end, uh, towards the end of the MAC play, but looking forward to playing some more games. Well, Coach, best of luck, and uh, we'll see you down in championship season. Thanks. Go Gales.